gamers! Welcome, Buccaneers, to the Pixel Pirate Plays! This is your host, the Pixel Pirate, bringing you daily first impressions on the latest and greatest indie games. Today on the show, we are re-looking at Papers, Please. Papers, Please is developed by 3909 and published by the same. And you can currently pick it up on Steam now for the grand total of $9.99. So, what is Papers, Please? Well... It is a self-titled dystopian <laughs> document uh, drama, I think they call it. Uh, basically, you play as a uh, immigration control guy. You need to check people's papers. If you get it right, then you get paid. If you get it wrong, then you get fined. You got to try and feed your family and uh, make sure they're nice and warm and in their house. So you got to pay your rent. And so on and so forth. So, let's get into it. There is a story mode and an endless mode. There are actually several endless modes. Uh, so you have to com complete the story mode before you can actually get into the endless mode. I think there's three three kinds of endless mode. In any case, let's just get into the story. I don't want to spoil too much of this game, so I'm not going to play a great deal of it. Uh, okay, so let's start at day one. Congratulations. The October Labor Lottery is complete. Your name was pulled. For immediate placement, report to the Ministry of Admission at Gresland Border Checkpoint. An apartment will be provided for you and your family in East Gresland. Gresland. Expect a Class 8 dwelling. Will do. Glory to Astokia. You'll see that a lot. <laughs> Alright, so that's uh, basically the, you know, newspaper, the borders opening and so on. Okay, so that's me right there. I'm going into my little compartment here and uh, these are all the people that want to come into the country. So let's flick that switch. This is day one, which means that uh, basically it's very easy. Um, so I need to only restrict uh, people that are as Tokian citizens only. So I'll put that there. And we'll get the first person to come in. And here we are. Okay, so this person is from Astokia, but we need to check things. Because, uh, you know, these, uh, these uh, papers can be forged. So we need to be careful. Number one, does the person look like the person? Well, yeah, kind of. Okay, they're female, the date of birth. Uh, well, we can't actually check that. The... Expiry date is okay. It's still a few days away. Uh, let's go to the regional map and we'll have a look at our country here. The issuing uh, area is uh, correct, so we will allow her into the country. So there you go. So she is into the country now. Now this book is, uh, you know, inv invaluable for... Uh, for, um, you know, determining whether these people are allowed in the country. So he looks like he's supposed to look like he is male. The expiry date's okay, and he is from Impor, so we're going to have to deny him, unfortunately. Jeez, man, you should have listened to the rules. Get out. <laughs> All right. Next one. So the idea is that you need to process as many people as possible as quickly as possible because you get paid per person. Um, so you're from Republia, so you are denied. Denied. Get out. <laughs> oh, gee, told me to go to hell. That's not very nice. Didn't do anything to you. Well, actually, I denied your access to the country, but aside from that, I didn't do anything. Okay, what do we got here? As Tokyo, good, and we have a good uh, uh, issuing city here. Your expiry is 1984, that's good. Okay, so you are in fact approved. So as you can see, it's not, uh, it's not, it's not uh, very hard, but it gets harder each day. So more and more things are placed on you to do. So at this point in time, Oh, it was a mistake to open this checkpoint. Oh, dear. There is a running storyline, by the way. Um, yeah, so things get harder and harder. I've got to check more things. Only person, people from certain districts or from certain countries can come in. 
and so on and so forth. So that changes every day and it gets more and more complex as the, as the storyline goes on. So uh, yes, uh, she is indeed all good there. So it looks like we can actually approve her. Awesome. Next, please. Oh, what's that? I think I have run out of time. Yep, everyone has to go home. Okay, Republia, well, you get denied anyway, buddy. Sorry, mate. You have to wait in line all day, and some douchebag like me has to tell you to get lost. Just the way it is. So, unfortunately, I don't actually get any money for that guy because it was after the time that my day's over. So, here are my expenses and my salary. So, I, I processed seven people. I got $35, $5 each. Uh, I had $30 in savings. Then I have to pay rent. I have to pay food and heat. Okay, now, I can turn these off if I choose and keep the money. Um, however, this problems start with your family over here. So, you've got a wife, a son, a mother-in-law, and an uncle. Um, and if, for example, I turn the food off, then they might get hungry the next day. If I don't have enough money the next day, then there can be other problems. They can start getting sick and, and things like that. Same with the heat. Uh, obviously, we're in a cold country, being in the Soviet bloc, so there you go. All right, so we'll go back to work today. And it will get more difficult this time. So the last time I could only let in people from our country... Okay, today, foreigners with a valid passport are permitted to enter. Your bits inspection hardware is now installed. Check all passport information carefully for discrepancies. Deny any entrant with inconsistent information. Alright. Alright, so that's uh, still reasonably easy, but uh, now I have to check a hell of a lot more in this book here. Uh, all the maps are now checkable, so I can't just leave it open on Nasdaqia. Okay, so you're from Orbistan. Let's have a look here. Orbistan. Uh, the expiry is the 28th of the 4th. So we're good there. No, we're not, actually. No, 1983. That's okay. So he's male. He looks like he's supposed to look like Orbistan uh, issuing country scale. Okay, so we're good. With, he's good to go. So as you can see, that took a lot longer to check than uh, the others did. And hopefully I didn't bugger anything up. No, it doesn't look like I did. So the whole idea of this game is, I guess, uh, document management within this area. And you you sort of, you sort of start getting... Oh, 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 I think she's expired. Yep. So we'll interrogate this person. Well, you are uh, denied. Get out. <coughs> yeah, the whole idea about, uh, you know, managing the documents inside this small space. So you've got need this book open, you've got to flick the pages, and you might have three other kinds of things that you have to check. A passport, a worker permit, or whatever else. So, um, 2nd of the 7th, 984, good. And you kind of look like, yeah, you look like her. Male, well... I'm going to uh, raise a discrepancy on that because I don't think this person is male. Here we go. Got it right. Okay. The passport is correct. Um, I'm going to deny you because I don't trust you. I'm not sure if you actually get fined for doing wrong denials, but uh, yeah, I'm going to deny them anyway. Looks like I did the right thing. So as you can see, anything on their passport can actually be wrong. He's telling me to hurry up and because he, he wants to catch a bus. Well, you can just wait, buddy. And if you don't like it, get out. Um, is this person female? No, that's matching data, so we don't need to worry about that. Um, you are from Astokia, so we will check here. Astokia. And yep, that is an issuing city, so you are... Approved. Cause no trouble. Next. So as you can see, I'm processing far fewer people than uh, I would I would like because I've got to check so many things, and that just gets worse and worse and worse. So we, you're uh, Orbistan over here. Uh, issuing is good. 
Lauren Dez? Yeah, that's right. Uh, wait, Lauren Daz, Lauren Daz, ah ha 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 ha, see? Oh, they try and trip you up, don't they? Uh, I'm gonna interrogate you, your passport has false information. I don't know anything about that. Well, I'm sorry, love, but you are denied. Get out. Next. <clears throat> I'm glad I picked up on that, I would've got fined otherwise. So not only do you not make any <laughs> if you want a good time, come and see it up. So that is uh, the pink vice here for all your fantasy issues in Deed of Prostitute. So, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear me. Uh, right, so her expiry date is actually okay. Yes, that is good. Uh, she's just got shorter hair in her uh, photo here. I know East Gresden is actually a uh, approved issuer of... Uh, of uh, passports, so she is good to go. And next. So as you can see, the, the game is very mundane indeed, but uh, it's it's also very fun, and uh, it's a very strange mix indeed. So, uh, as Tokyo, and I'm not sure actually if it's an issuing city. Oh, hello, we have a uh, an attack here, a, a terrorist is going to try and bomb our... Uh, our, our little outpost here, and actually succeeds in doing so, but dies himself. Oh wow, okay. Um, so that means the day's over, I don't get to do anything more, unfortunately. Uh, yes, the day was cut short by terrorist attack, progress was saved at the start of each day. So I cannot put my heat on because I didn't earn enough money. <laughs> uh, as you can see, I processed six people, I got 30 bucks out of that, I've only got $15 in savings. Which means I can either choose to use the food or the heat. So uh, I think I'll go with food simply because it's more expensive. So there you go. So that's a basic long short of Papers, Please. Um, very interesting game indeed. And for 10 bucks, it is well worth it. So I don't know. I think you go through 20 days or 15 days. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure how many days you go through in the single player campaign. Um, but there's infinite replayability with the endless modes. And the endless... There's three... As I said, there's three endless modes and they're all reasonably different so the different kinds of uh, endless mode so there you go so thanks everyone for watching today if you liked what you saw today do please remember to hit that like button it really helps out the channel you can also follow me on twitter at the pixel pirate this has been your host the pixel pirate thanks for watching and i will see you tomorrow